hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry Toad King. Uh, I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job. Come on! But I'm scared of the doggy. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Take the lead. I'm coming! Was never in doubt. Guess I gotta. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. We could always run away, right? Take the lead. So it's my turn? Your mind. 
Let's switch it up. Right, my turn. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends! Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout.
my front door. You won't stop telling the stories about that damn reactor. I can't wait to hear what the president has to say about it all. Hope he gives a rousing speech. Gets everybody fired up. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Yeah. 
This won't take long. Let's do this. Here we go. This won't take long. No holding back. Get ready. This won't take long. All right. Only one way to become a whack a box master. Whack, whack, whack. I want to become strong just like you. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? I want to become strong just like you. Ah! Well, what do you we'll be here when have what it takes. We're always looking for more whack a box whackers. Ah! Wanna play some Whack-A-Box?
Be here whenever you feel like playing. Good to see you, Kuko. Wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopo. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopo. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these... collectors? Uh... Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place.
become strong just like you. We'll be here whenever you want to play. No holding back. Yeah.
only one way to become a whack -a box master. Whack, whack, whack. We'll be here whenever you want to play. We'll be here whenever you feel like playing. Now I'm feeling I'm terrible at this game. certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. 
Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you. Work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. See you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporting. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, or whatever. Oh, could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many <laughs> others? Still haven't found a house. Anyway, it so <laughs> happens that I have some well, information I for you. Able to but I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Did you see the sky? Of course. It was there for the looking. <laughs> There's a uh, for so, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days, begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point. Got it. I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this By the way, rumor I about a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Well, oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Well, uh, uh <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Hmm, let me see. Um, give me a second, let me see if I can fix that. Uh, well, I'm going to just my microphone did that g get better
just remind me to uh, change my settings again when I'm going to play with you so I don't seem like I'm screaming in your ear. Sounds like you've made a real Since my settings is for party chat. Uh, oh, wait, I can do it. Okay. You're dead. Nothing to it. Yeah. 
best do it right. Do it. So it's my turn? Here it comes! Try using it! On you. Here goes. Go on. Lend me your strength. And carry on. Tagging out.
guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. one of her calling cards this is the genuine article I'm sure of it pinned by the angel herself hmm. so this is one of her famous warnings it's an incredible find oh was that all hold on looks like there's something else a message to the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <sighs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. It's always a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones from the Leaf House. Like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Sure, hope not. Huh? So...
I gotta. Deal with that. I'll take care of them. Hey, you asked for <laughs> Nothing to it. This means another war's coming. The Sector 5 stands are right. Mm -hmm. Sure would love another one of your boot camps. Mind taking Cactuar? Stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about I'm Lurk, huh? See anything you like? Later. I've heard so many awesome stories about the guy. Such a man. According to a business who are involved with the ongoing investigation. Um, am I allowed to touch this? Wait a sec. So, you coming?
uh, you talking to the... Shh. So, yeah, it was that kind of day. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> this makes so much sense a lot later. So, but I'm not sure if you if, if it makes sense in this game, but it makes sense later in the story. You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! <sighs> now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. 
One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Uh, I can take care of myself. Rude, but she makes An sense. older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. If you missed the part where Head again told you told us about him getting the Mako reaction that we only have such so short lifespan. Hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Okay, let's see how badly I'm going to do this. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? I made it's it simple in the enough. Ride. Just cut Yay. through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Well, there was at least one thing I did better than all the streamers I watched. I managed to sneak out on the first try. Who knew talking to the kids about the plan? I tried that new chocobo fabric. I watched three streamers through that part, and none of them were oh. able to do it on the first try. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. They what had are you to doing wait, here? Uh, used three tries. Waiting. The third try, that's Why? when I removed everything from because the Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. 
knuckle placing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government Imagine decided you to just did walk get it in. the same, and almost that's the same feeling from began. her in out the of sight, old out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, Eris. there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. So they are just. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. You saying that's good? Because I know a better way to get to Sector Seven. In the story. One that tragically doesn't go through Wall Market, and it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. But I got it. 
Let's go. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment.
easy. Now's our chance. I can help too. This one's for you. Hey, you asked for Looks like a dead end. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> Take it from here. I should probably heal up first. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> oh no, look! Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! a second.
capture. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Well, this is a good. It's on you. Here goes. One more shot. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Stop it! Get him! Sorry, but I gotta. Kind of hurt. Mind backing off a bit. Gotta go for it now. Good night. This one's for you! <laughs> I'd keep my distance if I were you. Okay? Got it.
Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Government uh, composite... I don't get it! Ah. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh... It's like... Compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story! <laughs> okay, what do you want? They are Nothing idiot. but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense. Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 damages. Uh, 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 so I damages that. recompense. I, can't I, <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. They're home in the sewers. <laughs> well, it's not even their home. It's um. The way through an area. <laughs> Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? 
No. Not really. Oh, okay. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
Gotcha. Car. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's this way. That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Poor Cloud. That's a cool learner. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a 
long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? Probably know him. Uh, are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no. 
No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! <laughs> That's what you heard? <laughs> Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! <laughs> well, we're going to start something very interesting, but we won't complete it today. Hey there, where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So... That's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. I haven't scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. What? <sighs> And there goes our best lead yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Um, Aerith isn't interested in Cloud. <laughs> she never going to be and she never will be. And she never was. 
he only reminds her a bit about her ex. This is most likely information you uh, wouldn't fully know. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? And we're at Wall Market. Let's see how badly I can do this. I'm really hoping I can get everything I need. Warm, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. Let's follow the optional quest. That's keep running away from me. Don't run. Uh. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, <laughs> naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kept looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Johnny. Tifa, I'm Johnny. coming, baby. <laughs> Who was that? Johnny, I did. Street just over there. You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. Are you sure about this man? Corneo's gonna use and abuse? Of course I'm not sure. Then let's do something about it. Trust me, I want to really? Give it to me, please. I'm begging you, miss. Get away from me before I scream. Like I give it. Uh, that scent. I can't stand it. <laughs> you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Cordero has an understanding of the You know how much power he has. There's a restaurant, if you can believe it. Do you 
Wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dong's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! 
Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> oh, Johnny. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I guess they're closed right now? Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? I feel rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new <laughs> See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Too much skill again. I need at least three thousand. Thanks, buddy. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tail. You lose. 
Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. other stuff too. Too good for my... I just Think wanted so. to see Andrea. Let me handle Let's this. We will. You wait out here, okay? It was like. Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Wait, you're 
the two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional so now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. That was why we needed for you guys to do. <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. And George Cho. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was to your liking. Do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. 
Hmm. <laughs> Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. That's okay, I'm about to end this one. Keep your filthy hands to yourself. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. 
I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? Okay, I have gotten to the Colosseum part. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. You need to take the elevator down. Don't keep them waiting. Okay. Time to save.